Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Very nice that you are here. Today I want to show you how to prepare a wonderful, great, super nice tasting Rocky Road ice cream. Self-made. I will show it to you step by step and of course I would be very happy if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on like that you will get all the time the updates for my future videos. Now, I will show you step by step how you can do this. You also can do this without an ice machine. It's very easy to do and I leave it in my description. Okay, see you later. All right, guys, you need some mini marshmallows, what you can see in the picture, around 10 grams. It's really up to you. Then we need uh, almonds and I put them into a hot water, um, yeah, around 25 grams, really up to you how many you like to use. I put them in hot water in order to get rid of the skin. Yeah, and one egg, one full egg and three egg yolks. Then we need uh, two tablespoons of sugar. And uh, I used 100 grams of full um, milk chocolate of Noisette Milka and 50 grams of dark chocolate. Yes, and we need 250 milliliters of fresh cream and let's get started. Okay, the first thing what I'm doing is to add the, uh, the two tablespoons of sugar inside the bowl. Then the three egg yolks inside the bowl. And please don't forget to subscribe, okay? <laughs> yeah, and then of course what you can see, what is left here? The egg. You have to add this as well. Of course you have to mix everything. You have to mix everything very, very smoothly, yeah? that the mass of the egg sugar looks very smoothly. Now look what I'm doing. I'm adding some hot water into the pot. I put a glass bowl inside. Of course, I have to measure a little bit um, that the water is not running above above the bowl. No, above the pot, of course. <laughs> yes, and then I'm starting to melt the chocolate. I put it inside everything, the chocolate, and I will melt it. Look warm, actually, if possible. Don't make it too hot, of course. Yeah, and you can see how smooth it is, how nice it looks, very smooth. And then, of course, you add it to the egg sugar mix. And you stir it until it has a nice, smooth consistency, as you can see here. Yeah, I can see I'm doing this very well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. with feeling. <laughs> okay, then it looks like that. And again, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Then I will add in another bowl, I will add 250 milliliters of fresh creams. I try to keep everything tidy and then we start to mix. To mix in the proper way until it looks like that. Finished. Clean up again if you like. And then add the cream, the mixed cream into the chocolate mix. Very carefully, um, just uh, 
drag it underneath, not really mixing very hard. Just have a look how I'm doing that and you're good. Yeah, and then now we add the almonds. Um, I can't remember, I think 25 uh, grams. I cut them in half actually. But it's really up to you. And I was wrapping some mm, chocolate pieces, dark chocolate, you know, and uh, it's up to you. And then the marshmallows, I will add the mini marshmallows. Yes, this is a must. This has to be together with the Rocky Road. It's really up to you how many you want to use. So this was just my feeling. Um, how many I want to use. All right, I am using a KitchenAid ice maker pot. It has a kind of um, frame around it uh, with a kind of cooling liquid inside. You can see it's very, um, there is a white uh, frame uh, in the pot. And this is the area where the cooling liquid is inside. I had a little bit problem in the beginning with this one because I was storing the pot too long inside the fridge. 24 hours to cool this ice mixer, uh, ice machine pot. 24 hours is enough. 24 hours is enough. Yeah, and this is how it looks like. I know not the best, but let's have a look now. And here we are. This is our self-made Rocky Road ice cream. Mm, it is wonderful. A really super great taste. Actually don't need to add too much sugar on it. To be honest, the chocolate is sweet enough. The self-made ice cream is melting a little bit quicker than the ice cream you buy in the stores. Could have put stuff inside, you know. But it's wonderful. It is really nice. And then with a small mini marshmallows inside. Mm. This is actually the best ice cream I've ever eaten. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any comments, just leave it there in the comments. <laughs> okay, see you in my next video about how to prepare banana ice. Yeah. Bye-bye. Take care.